Whoa. I don't know how kids sit in these, these seats all day. Uh, my name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. I hope you're doing awesome. Welcome to my channel where we try to get kids to fall in love with books and reading. And one way that we do that is by talking about amazing books that we can share with them. I read an amazing book. It's called Starfish. It's by Lisa Phipps. And here's the thing. All of my friends, many of my friends, a bunch of my friends on the social medias have been talking about this book and saying amazing things about this book and telling everyone that they have to read this book. And I was like, everyone's talking about a book. Everyone's saying great things about a book. At any time that this happens and I get all excited to read a book that all my friends are liking, I love it right? Like, not gonna lie, I have the best friends in the world, and they know books, and they know kids, and they know readers, and they know when they come across something special. And this book is something special. It is about a girl named Ellie, a middle schooler, who is bullied to an extent that is so awful, you just cringe reading some of the things that are said to her by kids, her mother, her siblings, strangers, all because of her weight. And it just, as a teacher, it just eats, it just eats at you, terrified that things like this have happened on your watch without you knowing, or maybe things like this had, have happened on your watch and you didn't do enough to stop it. And you just can't help but think, what will happen when kids read this book? And kids get a chance to maybe see themselves in Ellie. And kids get a chance to see the way that she grows tremendously throughout the course of this book. And maybe kids who aren't always the nicest kids, or maybe kids who real, don't realize what they're doing, or are followers in the bullying, might have an awakening. I truly believe that that happens every single moment, minute, day, uh, in children's literature with readers around the world. Another thing that I loved about this book was the relationship that she develops with her therapist. She does not want to do it at all. And just like being led into that room and seeing the conversations that she has. Uh, even though it was a book and it was uh, a fictional character, it felt like almost like, I felt like w almost weird being there. Like, wow, like this is so personal and such an intimate intimate moments with the counselor and we're being led inside and i hope i hope that it normalizes uh the need for a counselor and that you can have counselors for all different reasons and that you can get help uh, i thought that that was also a really powerful part of the book um my daughter who is in seventh grade and is super busy and has juggling virtual school and Four, five days of four and a half hour gymnastics practices and weekend gymnastics meets and all kinds of things. Um, hadn't been able to read a ton. Just that's just, we all know that that happens with a lot of kids as they get older and they don't maybe have that choice time for reading uh, within their school day. Uh, but I gave her this novel in verse um, on spring break and she just devoured it. Like it was so nice to see that love of reading and joy of reading and to just see the wheels turning in her head and then she said that I had to read it and, and she was right. She was absolutely right. I had to read this book. And like I'm a better teacher now. I just am. Like isn't that amazing? Like I'm just better. Like I just understand the world better. That's pretty cool. Yeah that's that's really amazing that that can happen to this 39 year old person. It's weird to think that in like a few months I'll like be 40 and you could be watching this and I'll say that I'm a 39 year old teacher. So if you're watching this right when it comes out, I'm a 39 year old teacher, but that's not really important. So if I had more time, I would edit this out. All this to say, Starfish is a book that you need to read. It's not just a book that you need to buy and like put in the classroom and, and like, or buy, and like show this video to your class. If you're watching in class, what's up? Mr. Sharp here, hope you're doing well. Read, be nice to your teacher. Uh, but it's a book that you need to read as a teacher, as a librarian, as a, the gate, a gatekeeper, or someone who has a chance to put this book into the hands of kids. Because I promise you that if you read it, you will instantly know which kids you want to give this to. And I'm not just saying like, not just give it to the bullies or not just give it to the kids who um, people think are overweight. Like, you just need to like experience this story. Trust me on this one. Um, Starfish, five stars, must read, so good.
buy it. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you for so much for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome-tastic day.